if l is a regular language over epsilon equals a comma b which one of the following languages is not regular and four options have been given here so this is a question from theory of computation regarding regular languages we need to take a look at all of these options and find out which among these is not regular language so first of all take a look at option c prefix of l equal to set of all elements x belong to epsilon star such that their x is y belonging to epsilon star such that x y belongs to l so this is the prefix this is the prefix language of l which means that if l contains a string let us say a b c a b c then the prefix will be epsilon a b sorry epsilon a a b and a b c this will be the prefix strings so prefix of if a b c is belonging to l then the prefix of l will contain epsilon a a b a b c as well this language is regular because if we have l as a regular language we know l will have a deterministic finite automata corresponding to that language now in that deterministic finite automata for which uh, which all states that can reach an accepting state if we make those states also accepting we will get this language that is a prefix language for example let us say we have a dfa with states like this and let's say this is a dead state example and these we have these may have other protection so it means that if it reaches this state the dfa will reject that language from this state or this state we can go to the accepting state this is the accepting state if you have a dfa for l language l like this if you make this state and this state also the accepting state then this language will be the prefix language of l prefix of l so this way we can show that prefix l is a regular language because we have a dfa for it so this is regular now if you look at a that is suffix of l that is y belong to epsilon star such that x y belongs to l now suffix of l will be if we have a language a b c then the suffix will be epsilon c b c and a b c now this is also just exactly the same way like the prefix language how we will construct the dfa for this will be for a language l we if we know that the reverse of the language will also be regular if l is regular l reverse will also be regular meaning for l reverse also we can construct the dfa in this way and in l reverse language if we just take the prefix that will be the suffix in language l see if abc belongs to language l then cba will belongs to language l reverse this one's prefix will be c c b and c b a in reverse form right so we just take these string and if we take the reverse form we'll be getting these strings c b c and a b c just reverse of these so just we can take the dfa for the reverse language and then do this procedure and then take the reverse of those strings we'll get the suffix of these strings as well so this language is also regular suffix now take a look at option d l concatenated with l reverse now l is a regular language we know l reverse will also be a regular language because reverse of a regular language is regular only and l concatenated with another regular language will be a regular language regular languages are closed under concatenation so l concatenated with l reverse will also be a regular language now coming to option b that's only one left option b is not a regular language option b set of all strings such that w w reverse belongs to the language l now this string is not regular because in order to find out this language we need to keep on checking till the midpoint of the string and then from the midpoint we need to keep on checking whether what we got was same as what we got initially in the reverse order now for checking that we will need an infinite amount of memory and we will need a stack so this is a context free language actually this is not a regular language so option b is the right answer for a question they were asking which of the following is not regular you need to understand that the language ww reverse and l concatenate with l reverse is not the same language this is a different language b is the right answer here